Alright. Yeah, I'm just making a video. So I don't need the audio from it, it's okay, I'm just doing the this bit. You're recording. Yeah, it's okay. I don't, you don't need my voice. Okay. Are those the books that you're asking for? The yes, they are. Yeah. Revision and practice. Yeah, perfect. They've lost theirs. I don't know where they put them. Yeah, okay. So it's the same for all the bills. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Thank you. So as we can see, we've heated the originally blue copper sulphate, the hydrated copper sulphate, CuSO4-5H2O, and it's become the white anhydrous copper sulphate and water, which we've collected in that tube there. Because we know that blue copper sulphate turns white when water is removed, we can turn anhydrous or white copper sulphate blue by adding water. So, if anhydrous or white copper sulphate turns blue when a liquid or a solution is added, we know that the liquid or solution that we're adding contains water. So this is some water. If we add it to our white copper sulphate, it'll turn blue. So in this reaction, we have CuSO4.5H2O, which is blue, goes to CuSO4, anhydrous copper sulphate, which is white, and five water. And there are three questions. The questions are, how do you know the reaction is reversible? What would you expect to see if you added water to anhydrous white CuSO4? And when we add water to CuSO4, the reaction gets hot. What does this tell you about the reactions? So the first question says, how do you know the reaction is reversible? And we know the reaction is reversible because the reaction has got a reversible reaction arrow there. Question two, what would you expect to see if you added water to the white anhydrous copper sulphate? Well, we know if we add water to white anhydrous copper sulphate, it becomes hydrated blue copper sulphate so it would go from white to blue. And last, when we add water to CuSO4, the reaction gets hot. So when you mix white anhydrous copper sulphate plus water, the reaction goes that way. You end up with blue CuSO4.5H2O, and that reaction gets hot. What does this tell you about the reactions? Well, because the reaction gets hot, we can say the reaction CuSO4 plus 5H2O, the anhydrous copper sulphate, goes to hydrated copper sulphate, is exothermic because it gets hot. And because the reaction that goes that way is exothermic, then we can say the copper sulphate plus 5 water, the blue going to white, must be endothermic. Because if reaction that way is exothermic, the reaction going in the other direction is endothermic.